What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 57. Facebook fucking with us a little bit, but I think we're up and rolling now. You know, there are always, always going to be someone trying to hold you back in life. But we're up, we're up. You have any questions, comments, suggestions, put them down there in the comment section. Steve Says, episode number 57. Some people will hate, but most can, be, can relate. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Today, it's about opening your freaking mind. We talk on Steve Says a lot about, th- about thinking for yourself and using your own mind and thinking, thinking, you know, thinking by yourself. But sometimes you need to open your mind and don't always think for yourself. Are, are you making this crucial mistake on your journey to success and victory? We're going to talk about it and we're going to keep rolling. Because usually, you, you know, you hear all the time, perception is reality. And that's true in a sense, but that shit doesn't, that doesn't mean that that shit's real. If I think the sky is, is, is red and it's really blue, no matter what, if I think it's red, you can't tell me any different. If I think it's red, it's really blue. So it really does, it, perception is your own reality, but that doesn't mean it's fucking real. That's what it comes down to. Steve says is a live show on how to have, have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles preventing success in your health, your family, and your finances so you can stop being a little bitch and start living life on your own fucking terms. Get your shit together. Let's roll. It's about trusting the process. We're going to talk about that today, actually, about the process. And, of course, having no excuse. The invasion's coming, and we must defeat the enemy. And Steve says it's all about giving you the tactics and the right mindset to overcome those obstacles and defeat the freaking enemy. Questions, comments, put them down there below. Let's freaking talk. So, Let's get rolling. Today, again, today is all about thinking, you know, thinking for yourself. We talk about it all the time, using your mind, having a mind of your own, and that is the way to be, but it's not always the way to be. Use your own mind most of the time, but there are a lot of situations, a lot of scenarios where where you shouldn't be using your own mind because you need some outside, you need an outside source or some outside influence at times. You know, sometimes thinking for yourself is just not enough. If, especially if you have these self-limiting thoughts and beliefs that are going to hold you back and that have been probably holding you back your whole freaking life, you need to not always think for yourself because your perception of reality is not fucking real. So there's times you need to open your mind and, and not let those self-limiting beliefs in yourself and in the situation and in the people around you, it's just going to hold you back and it's going to lead you to, f- to failure and just digging yourself in your own fucking grave Time and time and just reburying yourself all the time. So you need to open up your freaking mind. Sometimes, you know, the thoughts in your head, you are, your perception, although they, they seem freaking real, they're completely false. And sometimes it just needs a little clarification from maybe an outside source. Because perception's reality, but it ain't fucking real. If someone, you know, someone tells you something, you're going to hear it and see it just the way you automatically your natural instincts are telling you. And that shit ain't always right if you have those self-limiting freaking beliefs. Sometimes you need to find out the reason why. Why are some things the way that they are? What's the freaking reason? Some, sometimes shit just needs to make sense to people. You know, they, the, the way that they're receiving it just doesn't make sense to them. And they might not even realize it or understand the importance or, or the meaning and the value and the concept of what's going on or what's being sent to them that they're receiving and they're receiving the complete fucking wrong way. So sometimes it might, if, if you're the one giving out that information, let's say, you're on the battlefield giving out those commands to the troops, what they need to do in this battle. Sometimes it might just be better to justify yourself. Now I know you're, you're, the, you're, the, you're the general, right? You have no need to explain yourself to anyone. You don't have to do it. But sometimes you f- should freaking do it, even in that situation. Because if you want them to understand why you're doing it, the reason why you're doing it, if you want them to believe in, in why you're doing it and believe in the mission and the cause and believe that we need to defeat the fucking enemy, they need to be freaking down with it. So you need them to understand it and, and to do what needs to be done and to have your back. They might need to know why they might need to have a reason. So although you don't have to give a reason, sometimes you have to give a freaking reason. Why is it that way? Why does it need to be this way? If, if there's a wrong way to take something, that is usually the option that most people are going to take in, in any situation. That's just the way it is. 
It's the negative nature of our freaking society. It's what's been drilled into us every fucking day with the news and all this other bullshit propaganda nonsense out there. So if, if you're receiving some, most people, they receive something, it's how you take it, right? And if there is if there is a bad, any possible way to take it the wrong way, most people will take that shit the wrong way. It's just the negative way that things are. You know, find the bad in every situation. Find the dark fucking cloud all the time, no matter what's going on. So I say fuck that, though. I say fuck that. Find, find the positive side of everything, no matter what. If you, if you take things the wrong way, that's on you. That's on you. Take things the right fucking way. Always. That's what I say. Take it the right fucking way. Even if, even if something's clearly wrong, you know, or offensive against you, you can't control that shit. But you can control how you react to that shit. That's what you can control. You, you can control if it puts you in a bad mood or not. You can control if it ruins the rest of your fucking day. You can control if you lose sleep at night over some dumb shit that doesn't even fucking matter. That's on you. That is on you how you react to it. How you let it affect you. It's on you, not on you know the, the other half of the equation. And you might find yourself on both ends of this freaking equation. You know, if, if you're, you're, the, if you're the one that doesn't understand and you're receiving some information or some orders on the battle that you need to go, you know, operate on the battlefield and you just, you just don't understand it. You don't even believe in it. You don't even know why you need to go and attack this building at this time from this direction. If you don't understand it and it doesn't make sense to you, even though you technically, that's the orders you're given on the battlefield. You need to just go fucking do it. Technically, you need to go fucking do it. But you also should believe in it, maybe. So, what could you do? How about speak the fuck up? How about, but it needs to be politely, professionally, and appropriately, of course. But get the answers that, that you need to better understand the situation. So you can have more belief in the attack on that fucking building. And make, you know, and, and I'm sure there is a reason why. And you don't even know the reason why. You don't even need to know the reason why. But sometimes you need to know the reason why. So ask some fucking questions. Don't just take things the way that you take them. Especially when you know you, you, you take the negative fucking road and everything. Don't just take the way. You, don't just take shit the way that you naturally take it. Don't always take things the wrong fucking way. As usual. You wouldn't even know where, where fucking babies came from if you didn't eventually ask. So ask. Where did the fucking babies come from? Where did they come from? You ain't going to know where the babies come from unless you ask where the babies come from. The worst thing you could do in a situation is just live off of what it seems like or what you think it is or what your perception of it is or, or what it feels like or it seems this, it seems that, you seem this, you seem that, I felt this, I felt that's a bunch of bullshit because these are thoughts and decisions based off of incomplete data. And data doesn't freaking lie. So t- take those fucking blinders off. Take those blinders off. Get the data. Get the freaking information. And find out where the fuck the babies come from. Ask a question. Find it out. Get the information that you need, you know, to, to sleep well at night. So you're not up all night and still wondering, as a, as a fucking adult, where babies come from. You still don't fucking know. You're running around like a dumbass not knowing where babies come from. Thinking they come from some pigeon out of the fucking sky because you didn't get the right information that you needed to get. You didn't get the right get to go to the source to find out where the babies come from or why you should be attacking that building. You didn't go to the source of that shit. So you don't attack that building the same reason you don't know where fucking babies come from. And then you're going to lose the battle or you ain't going to have no fucking babies or you ain't going to have no fun. So take those motherfucking blinders off, those, those different you know, shade of sunglasses you have, that, smash that fucking chip on your, on your shoulder with a freaking sledgehammer, and I have, I have a guest here, so I'm going to step aside and drink my Herbalife. No! Excuses! Freak show. Freak show. He definitely gets the information he needs to be successful in mission. A little seven-year-old, little bald-headed freak gets the information he needs to succeed. Asks the reason why. He ain't, he ain't finding out where babies come from, but he's going to find out why we're attacking that building. He's going to find out why we're working out. He's going to find out why we, we need to work hard. He's going to find out why we need to do the right thing. He's going to find out why we need to help other people. He needs to, he's going to find out why we need to put other people before ourselves. He's going to find out 
why we do little things, a bunch of little things turn into some big fucking things. He's going to find that out by asking the right questions and coming to the source. Going to his fucking father, go to the source. Go to your commander, go to the source. Find out why you're attacking the building. Find out where the fuck babies come from. Ask a few questions. Then open your fucking eye. After you ask these questions, and, and you know, very appropriately and professionally, ask these fucking questions that are going to give you the answers that you need to better understand why you're attacking that building. Then open your fucking eyes, open your ears, and shut your damn mouth and receive the information so you can properly freaking operate the way you need to be operating. Then, then, then get the information you need to succeed in battle. You're going to get this information. To su- you're going to succeed now. Make it make sense to you so you can believe and be the most effective fucking warrior on the battlefield as possible. Now, if you're on the delivering side, you're delivering this information. You're the general giving out, let, letting the, the platoon know where they need to go and attack. And it's just not being received as intended. There's just no belief in the mission. There's no belief in the mission. You're telling them to go make babies. You're telling them to go attack that damn building. And if you're not being understood, it's up to you to explain why or how or what's the benefit. Now go have fun figuring out how to get to the benefit and the why and the how making the babies. Figure that shit out. But your ability to get them to understand the value in the mission or the operation, that's the difference maker. That's the deal fucking breaker right there. You need to let the troops know and understand why they need to, why we need to attack that building at this time this way you need to give the answers to the questions that are being asked or even before the questions you should know the questions ahead of time they're going to be asked because what what sense would it make in battle for a general to go tell someone to go attack that building and not to give a little a brief explanation about why how this is going to help the mission what it's going to do to secure that 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 hill and we're going then we could go move over here and then we're going to have a dominant in this entire area then we can go take over that city and we have a better angle and all this other shit or what sense does it make to sabotage that that battle like he's, he's going to tell you to go attack that building and the troops are like oh this is death this is a death sentence we're going to die going out there now what sense would it make for the general to send those troops and that platoon out to slaughter. It just ain't going to happen. It's not going to fucking happen. And, I, and, and so let them know why. And let them know how. So don't just go tell the troops to go make some fucking babies. Tell them why and how. Give them some fucking lessons if you need to. The general makes, makes decisions in battle. Like in the book I've been talking about the last couple weeks. Extreme ownership. Relax. Look around. And make a call. Prioritize and execute. The general's making this decision based on the outcome that is needed. That's all that the general's thinking about. See, he's telling those troops to go take that building at this time exactly this way, although it seems odd and awkward. He's telling them to go do it because he's already on that chessboard, on that battle strategy motherfucking map, looking eight steps, ten steps, a hundred thousand fucking steps ahead and knows that that's a step he needs to get to here, to get here, to get here, to get here, to get here. And that's a step he needs to take now for the outcome to be achieved. And he, the general's making the decision on the outcome that's needed based on the situation, based on the information and the data that, that the data and the needs to get to that path to victory, those steps to victory, those stepping stones to get across that freaking river to victory on the other side of that damn river. One stone at a freaking time. So any moves he makes on the battlefield with, with different platoons is all with The outcome of victory as the top and the only motherfucking priority. That's it. That's it. Mission accomplishment is the number one principle of Marine Corps leadership. Troop welfare is number two. The outcome is the freaking goal. There is a plan and a process. And sometimes that process might be challenging and strenuous and and hard and difficult and put extreme fucking heat on you. But the process, and then, you know, the process might cause some hurt feelings and some boo fucking who tears. And sometimes we might have to get a little dirty and come out of our comfort zone. I mean, what the fuck is a comfort zone anyway? Fuck comfort. Who the fuck wants comfort? What is comfort? No wars were ever won in comfort. Nothing great was ever accomplished in motherfucking comfort. Now, it might be dangerous. Our mommy might have told us, you know, to go be careful. We don't want to get a boo-boo. We can't do it. It's just too hard. 
Just forget about it. It's going to take too much effort. It's just fucking scary. You know, the outcome might just seem too large of an obstacle to overcome. Victory just looks impossible for us to go take this building. But we put on our fucking big boy pants. We charge straight ahead into the face of this strenuous process, into the mouth of the motherfucking devil, and we bitch slap that motherfucker. The Wright brothers were complete fucking lunatics with a death wish. Thomas Edison was the biggest failure in the world. Thousands and thousands of times for years and decades, a fucking failure. Henry Ford was sick of riding a freaking horse everywhere he went. Walt Disney went broke several times planning a playground around a fucking mouse. Howard Schultz was nuts thinking people would pay seven bucks for a freaking cup of coffee. By the way, the people that I just mentioned invented flight, invented electricity, invented cars, created Disneyland, and created Starbucks freaking coffee where you're probably at right now spending seven bucks on that cup. And I guarantee all those people I just mentioned, they were misunderstood. Some for decades misunderstood and and didn't make sense to anyone around them. They were trying to get in their sector to make this shit happen, to make motherfuckers fly, to make motherfuckers sip coffee with some free Wi-Fi and shit. Until they were properly able to explain why they were doing what they were doing. What is the value going to be? What's the benefit going to be? What's the reasoning behind this step I need to take to make sure we can fly in the fucking air? That's what they were doing. Explaining why and how they were going to do it. How was it going to make things better? How is it fall into the mission? How is that a stone to get across the freaking river? The outcome is the only goal. Success is the only goal. Fucking victory is the only goal. Mission accomplishment is doing whatever the fuck it takes to succeed, to dominate, and to destroy the fucking enemy. The outcome is the goal, and the outcome is the reason why you need to go take over that building right there, right fucking now. That is the reason why and how to go make babies. So go make some freaking babies. No excuses.